everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to give you some quick tips on using a sleeping bag. Now if you haven't used one before, it's not the easiest thing to figure out. So I'll tell you how it's done. But uh, before we get into that, I'd like to give you a few pointers. Uh, now always use a sleeping bag liner before using, before getting into a bag. A liner is in the shape of a sleeping bag. It's made of either cotton or uh, maybe uh, fleece. So it's just going to add one layer of warmth and also it will not let your sleeping bag get dirty. Sleeping bags are very difficult to wash so it's always best to keep it as clean as possible. For that you can also wear a pair of socks as you get into the bag that will also keep you warm again. And uh, the last thing you can do is keep a mat underneath your sleeping bag that will not let the sleeping bag underside get dirty and also if you put your tent on snow or something it will give you one layer of insulation. So that will help you. So here's how you use a sleeping bag. Uh, first thing, lay it out on a mat. Now I've laid my sleeping bag out on a mat. Okay. Then unlock the zipper and unzip it around halfway. Don't open it fully because uh, it'll be difficult when you get in to pull it back up. So just open it up halfway. Next thing, just make sure there's no dirt on your socks. Okay, just clean it up a bit and then slip it back. So, just like how you would pull up a pair of socks, just pull your sleeping bag up. Okay, so that your feet, they should touch the foot of the sleeping bag. And then slowly pull it up from underneath you. Okay. Once that's done, you can lie down and basically ensure the hood is underneath your head. Okay, so once that's done, you can zip it up. Now, this is not the easiest thing to do. You can ask a friend to help you out with it if necessary. Zip it from outside as opposed to inside. You can do it from inside, but it will be more difficult from inside. So, zip it up from out. And be gentle with the zip. Sometimes the fabric gets stuck in the zip and uh, be patient with it. Don't be rough because it might tear and it's very difficult to fix a sleeping bag. Okay, so once you pull the zip all the way to the top, lock it. There's usually a flap lock like this. Lock it and keep the zip like that so it doesn't come out. Okay, and then you can lie down. So, just ensure that your sleeping bag is tightly locked because uh, the way a sleeping bag works is that the many layers of the sleeping bag, they trap all the warmth inside. So, basically it's your own body heat that's keeping the sleeping bag warm. So, if it's open or loose, the heat will just escape and it won't work. So, make sure it's tight. Only if it's a little warm, open it up a bit or you can use it as a quilt. But at higher campsites, close it completely and make sure it's tight. Okay, if you're still feeling cold, you can use a balaclava. You can also wear a few warm layers, maybe uh, one or two layers, depending on how cold it is. And of course, you already have a pair of socks. Sometimes if it's really cold, if you're on a winter trek, you can keep a bottle of hot water, hug it and sleep. It works wonders if you're feeling cold. So, yeah, that's about it. There's also a hood here that you can tighten okay so basically if you're uh, feeling too cold you can tighten this as much as possible but don't put your entire head inside the sleeping bag because you'll be breathing bad air you'll be breathing your own carbon dioxide and in the long run that's not good so make sure your nose and your mouth are at least outside the sleeping bag and then go to sleep you can turn out the lights and go to sleep. Hey, who turned on the lights? Oh, that was hardly two seconds. <laughs> okay, just kidding. So once you're done using the sleeping bag, uh, unlock the flap and unzip your sleeping bag. Again, just open it up halfway. That's enough. Just get out of it. Zip it up. Okay, zip it up all the way. Lock it 
and you have to start rolling it. Now this is the most difficult part of a sleeping bag. It's very labor intensive and you might need like a friend or two to help you do this. So first fold the sleeping bag. Don't fold it in half. You have the sleeping bag cover, right? So make sure it's the length of the cover. So fold it and remove all the excess air from the bag and send it out from top and start rolling it from the bottom just use your fingertips to roll it and it's you don't have to lose your breath while doing it or something if you get tired just put your knee on it and rest for 2 3 seconds and then you can start again and keep removing the air from it as you go ahead this is actually a good warm up before your trek like every morning you do this and you'll be warmed up now once you have this ready just put this between your legs what you can do with this cover is open it up like that flip it a little open and put it around thing bag so push it in with your hand like this and rotate it so push and rotate keep doing this until you get to the top part of it okay, so once you're done putting the sleeping bag inside close the cover tighten the strings okay and make a loop so that it doesn't come off now once that's done you can push uh, put this flap on So that's pretty much how to use a sleeping bag. I hope this episode has helped you figure it out. It might take a few trials, so don't be disheartened. Just try again and again and you'll ace it sometime. Okay, if you have any questions, just write to me on trekwithswati@indiahikes.in. Thank you for watching. Have a good trek.